All right, what's going on, YouTube? This is Jeru 2001. <clears throat> this is my walk around for my 2007 Bill Balance Edition YFZ 450. Um, I'm sure y'all seen a bunch of these on the internet, on YouTube, wherever else. <clears throat> but this is mine. So I had it now for about two months. It's pretty good. You got killer top end. Pretty fast. You got no mods playing, no upgrades playing because you just don't need them. Just don't need them. It's pretty fast the way it is. I took it to the drag strip a few times. Raced it. It's a pretty fast bike, the way it is. Previous owner put some goodies in the car. Done some other things. Nothing too major though. Um, everybody keep asking me if I got a K and N Elfrid to kit in there. I don't. I'm running a um. I forget the name of it. No tour. I'm running a no tour two stage foam filter. And uh, I don't have no issues out of it. None whatsoever. Occasionally, though, I will take the airbox lid off to run. There is a big difference. A noticeable difference anyway, but I don't do it too often. Just got these brand new Dunlops on here last week. And then I took the bike out to Bosco Beach and gave them a good, good running. They're decent tires. A lot of people don't like Dunlops. I don't know why. I don't care. I like them. I don't get them for other people to like. All these decals came on here. One thing I'm gonna get is new hand grips. Cause these are old, but they grip better when they're old. Some new lever grips. Other than that, it's good to go. This bike comes with the GYTR Nerf bars. Comes with the GYTR front bumper. comes with this bar. This light was on there. Um, what else? Oh, the Pro Taper handlebars. The racing handlebars. These are Pro Tapers. Um, that's pretty much it. The exhaust is not the same exhaust from the stock YFZ450. Um, it's not. And this is not the YFZ450 SE. Special edition. That's that black and gray and red joint. This is the YFZ450 BB for build balance. Um, what else can I say about it? Other than it's fast and it look good, not much. Um, I'll be putting some riding videos up soon. Some of y'all know I got rid of my sport bike because we were buying a house and having a baby and just got rid of it. So when it was time to buy a new bike, I decided to get this. Why? Well, let's take a walk behind the house. So, this right here, what you're looking at is my property line, and right back behind my house, 
is the power lines. So these power lines go up in that direction about another, I'd say 250 yards. Yeah, about two and a half football fields. Yeah, maybe let's go 300, 300 yards up that way. They dead end because of a lake. I don't know if it's Lake Townsend, Lake Jeanette, one of those big lakes. But anyway, um, there's a bunch of trails back up that way. They come down through here and head off that way. And they go down for about five miles. I've been riding down in there. And uh, neighbors don't seem to mind. I passed by a few cops, they don't seem to mind. As long as uh, we're not back there making a mess and not trying to tear up nobody's personal property, I think we can keep this area as a uh, a good riding spot. Anyway, man, there's creeks down in there, creek crossings, river beds, woods trails, dirt trails, gravel trails, mud pits, a few areas to race. There's an area where they got a bunch of hill climbs and jumps and railroad beds and railroad tracks. It's pretty fun riding back there. So that's how we do on the weekends. We ain't got to pay to go ride nowhere. video back here with my helmet camera. Um, that's it. I gotta get my headlights working. My headlights don't work. I don't know if it's a loose cable somewhere or what the deal is, but other than that, everything is great.